I should clean the lens. I was about to start off the video and I just saw a big old smudge right when I looked into the lens. I'm gonna clean it, be right back. Hello my friends, my name is Sam. You're watching Sam the Vlog and this video is coming out of pure frustration. Welcome back, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you guys watching this video. As I mentioned, this video is coming out of pure frustration and I hold the source of that frustration in my hands. It is the Rode VideoMic Go. I'm gonna give you my thoughts, my review on this exact microphone because I've been using it for the last several months and I have got some beef with Rode and with this particular microphone my arch rival, my nemesis, the bane of my existence, the ruiner of all my footage. I'm mad at Rode right now. I'm mad at them. So let me tell you this, this microphone is almost perfect, but there's one singular thing that completely kills it, which is gonna cause me to scrap this microphone and go buy another one today. Before we jump into all the things that I hate about it, no, the one thing that I hate about it, I'm gonna tell you all the things that I love about it because Practice positivity and stuff, you know? It's good, it's healthy. The Rode Video Mic Go. I'm gonna tell you what I do love about it. This thing I've used with a Canon 80D, right? Mounts right there on your hot shoe, plugs directly into your microphone input, and you're done, that's it. It runs off of the battery in your camera. It is truly run and gun, beautiful setup for vlogging because this thing just goes. And it does pretty decent audio. And audio is important, guys. Audio is extremely important. If you're gonna be shooting videos, and uploading them to any platform, you have to make sure your audio is on point. Your video could suck. You could be shooting on an old Razer flip phone. Flip phone, you guys have flip phones? You like flip phones? You could be shooting on an old Razer flip phone and have great audio and people would still watch it. It's that important. If you have the most beautiful footage shot on like a freaking Canon 5D Mark IV or a, or a RED camera with beautiful $10,000 setups and your audio sucks, People are gonna bounce right out of there. They're gonna go watch PewDiePie's videos who has good audio, even though his video sucks. Anyway, anyway, I digress. Back to the topic at hand. I've used this with a lot of success in all of the videos that I've uploaded with a few critical errors and I've finally had enough of it. Now, here are a few things that I do love about this microphone. As I mentioned, there are no batteries, no switches, no nothing. You plug it directly into your microphone input on your camera and you're ready to go. As opposed to the Rode VideoMic Pro, here's another thing that's confu confusing. Hot shoe microphones by Rode. Rode is like a leading brand in microphones. They've got the Rode Video Micro, the Ro Rode VideoMic Go, and the Rode, I can't even say it. Rode Video Micro, Rode VideoMic Go, Rode VideoMic Pro. This is the in-between stage, the $99 Rode Video Mic Go. The run and gun is fantastic. Plug and play, you're truly good to go. No switches to worry about, nothing you need to know. Plug it in, go, set it up, you're done. The other thing that I love about it is the mounting system. It's just a little plastic, little thingy thingy that reduces shake so you're not getting any camera shake or noise from whatever you're holding to film yourself while you're shooting. As opposed to the Rode Video Mic Pro, which has this intricate series of rubber bands and all this stuff that flies off and it's a pain in the balls. The butt, if you don't have balls. It's a pain. I don't like that mounting setup. If they were to put this mounting setup on the Rode VideoMic Pro, then that would be the golden mic. The one mic to rule them all. What else do I love about this mic? The price point, the price point is certainly favorable. It's uh, 99 bucks. I bought this at Best Buy. Best Buy price matches. It doesn't break the bank as opposed to the Rode Video Mic Pro, which comes in around 200 bucks, and I believe the Rode Video Micro comes in around 60 bucks, which I have not tried. I've watched a few reviews. I may look into it, but it's this little fluffy ball thing, and it looks kind of silly. This looks silly too, whatever. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna tell you why you shouldn't buy this microphone. I know you've been looking at it. I know you've spent a lot of money on a camera. You need a microphone. Now, now, to get into this. I was in Arizona over the weekend for a little visit with the family, and I was vlogging the whole time, but I hadn't put any of the footage on my computer. When I got home, I realized that all of my footage was completely unusable. Why, you ask, Sam? Let me tell you. This microphone is not shielded and has a tendency to pick up interference from who knows where. 
your cell phone, your Wi-Fi router, your computer, possibly your camera, UFOs, I don't know. It just comes, it's a, I'm gonna show you. Let's cut to a clip right now. This is the noise that you hear on this microphone more often than not that is a total killer of all your video footage. Cut. Good morning, my friends. It is 4.30 in the morning and we are off to somewhere special. Terrible, right? Yeah, it might not seem too crazy, but when you have that for the length of all of your footage and all of your video, it drives people nuts, it drives me nuts. I can't even edit the footage. So I actually got on the phone with Rode in their California office and I said, hey, Rode, I've got the video mic go and it's picking up all this interference and it's ruining my footage. Do you have any suggestions? Is there something wrong with the mic? They said, no, that's a known issue with the microphone. Are you close to a router? I said, no, I'm outside. Are, is your cell phone on? Yes, it's on, but I turned off the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. Okay, um, are you near a computer? No, I'm outside. It doesn't matter. I've tested this in all conditions. Right now, in my house, I unplugged my router. My cell phone is not in my pocket. I'm not wearing my Apple Watch. All of my Wi-Fi and Bluetooth devices are off. My computer is closed. I started this video on this microphone and I still had the clicking popping noise. I think it's my camera. That's the only other source that it could be. I don't know. But it's a killer. So today, I'm going to shoot over to Best Buy and I'm going to buy the Rode VideoMic Pro which I've used before and it is a great microphone and I've never run into the feedback issues with such intensity on that microphone and I think it will solve my problems. I'm currently shooting onboard Canon 80D audio right out of the camera, sitting close so you guys can hear me properly. That is my biggest beef with this micro microphone. <sighs> if it wasn't for that, this microphone would be the winner. I have no issues with the audio that comes out of here. There's really no crazy issues with the quality except for that interference. Anyway, the point is, if you're a vlogger, if you're just a video shooter, it's all about the shot. And when you flip on your camera, you see something amazing, and or you're doing some live news stories of the latest and greatest, and you've got this thing pointed in your face, and then you go to review footage, and it's clicking and clacking all the way through the footage, it ruins it. And that sucks, it sucks. I lost that whole vlog. I sat down, I was gonna be like, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna edit a vlog, I'm gonna get this Arizona vlog up, and I'm gonna end up scrapping all that footage because I can't stand to upload a vlog with a clicking, clacking noise all the way through the entire thing. I think all of my subscribers would just be gone. So really truly consider that if you're just trying to save a hundred bucks, you're gonna run into some issues with this microphone. Spend the extra hundred bucks, I think. So if you wanna risk it, link is below. If you want to spend the extra hundred bucks, link is below. If you wanna spend only 60 bucks, link is below. Check them out. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have found a solution for this, please let me know because I hate to just scrap electronics. Maybe I'll try and offer up or Craigslist or something for less than what I paid for it and have to meet in a parking lot with some shady dude who's about to shank me in the kidneys and all for this road video might go. This thing comes off. Did you know that? The road was upside down. I wanted it to be right side up. Please subscribe and thumbs up this video. There are vloggers worldwide who need to know of the issues that the Rode Video Mic Go. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, whatever. That helps this video get out there. I appreciate it. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching. Merry Christmas. Goodbye.